call? He's away. That's it. Bless you. Thank you. What do you mean he's away? Look, the mayor is very unhappy. She wants me... That's it. He went to Graceland. He said he had to see it. He's blind. What does he want to go to Graceland for? He has this theory that Elvis is black, and he says that he can prove it. That's absurd. I was a big Elvis fan. Elvis was not black. Michael Jackson is black, I think. But not Elvis. All right, listen. Okay, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down, down, down. down. Okay. Tilt your head back, tilt your head back. Uh, 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 uh. Isadora, listen. Uh? Cole went to a newspaper editor's convention in Atlanta. He'll be back the day after tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. Stand back. You don't want to catch this. Oh, Lord, thank you. What are you doing? Acupressure points. Oh, amazing. Listen, I gotta tell you, the mayor is very unhappy over this article about the library. The library? I wrote that. Oh, please, don't tell anybody. Look, let me talk to Osgood. Osgood's out with the flu. Well, let me talk to Thompson. Flu. Deacon? He's got just about everybody. Who's writing the paper? Down to the four of us. Today, we happy few are the power of the press. Feel better? Wow, that's amazing. You have a gift. Okay, go wash your hands with hot water and don't touch your eyes or your mouth until you do. Believe me, you don't want to catch this. I will be fine. Oh, well, what should I tell her honor? That the paper's gonna shut down until the epidemic's over? No, this paper hasn't missed an edition in 45 years and it's not gonna miss Wednesday. We will keep the presses rolling. Right, Peppy? Damn right. Hey, pretty guy. Hello, sugar baby. I'm glad you're here. Open your mouth. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What are you doing? Get out of my mouth. Swallow. Wait, what, what? Swallow what? What is that? Sugar. This is golden seal, and this is sweeter. What the hell should I swallow that? Everybody in town has to do right. Well, for the last three days, I've been feeding everybody in the bar golden seal and wheat germ, and nobody has even gotten so much as a sniffle. Don't ask questions. Savannah knows what's good for you. Open your Get mouth. Get that away from Jojo, me. Jojo, open your mouth. Give me the damn pill. Okay. Bad enough I had to deal with a grandmother that was a voodoo woman. Now I got to deal with this new age voodoo. That's right, baby. Here's another one. And don't be coming at me with none of them damn crystals, either. You know that fool sheriff made me sit on one of them things for two hours one day? Don't even ask me why. Crystals are good for gas. Last pill. That's it, right? That's it. I promise. Swallow, there you go. That's a good Rastafarian. <laughs> I catch one of them wayward cousins of yours over there. We all go and take a bath. Oh, hey. Somebody turn on the music. I feel like dancing. So what the man been smoking? That's what I've been wondering. Oh, things 
are crazy down at the newspaper. Show him it's just a man who wants to see. I have some more pills for you. No, no more weed charms. I'll explode. How many did you take already? Twelve yesterday, six today. Well, then you need to take six more. Here. Later, later. Where's Gumbo? Oh, that man out in the ozone somewhere. Oh. Gumbo! <laughs> Gumbo! Oh, hi, sweetie. What do you need? Sweetie? Listen. Since this flu epidemic is hit, we've been working at the newspaper night and day, and we need some lunches delivered. Lunches? Sh sure thing. I'll make them up myself for you. Free of charge, a gift from your old buddy, pal. What's the matter with you? Why are you being so nice? Being nice? I'm being me. I'm a nice guy, me. trying to run that newspaper all by yourself? From the day I got to this town, I have done nothing but screw up with King Cole. You know what that feels like? Yes, honey, I have a fair idea. With everybody out with the flu, this is a great opportunity for me to redeem myself. Ah, I see. So you'll say the newspaper and King Cole will come up to you and say, boy, I severely misjudged you. You really are talented after all. That or will say, get off this island. Don't come back, you stupid Irish boy. One or the other. Oh, I see. Hmm. Well, you better get back to work then. Listen, yes. can you bring those sandwiches by the office for me? Oh, sure, honey. Anything you want. Thanks, princess. You're welcome, baby. Why don't you try this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot cleaner. O'Neill. Hmm. Hold this. I was expecting you. I'm surprised it took you so long. I hear you're responsible for this article. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, here. Here, sit down. Uh, sit down and tilt your head back. Oh, listen to him. This uh, works. Trust Hello. Food for the trip. Oh, an angel from heaven. So I've been told. Oh, what? honey, you should take some wheat germ and golden seal for that cold. Uh, why are you doing this to me? Because you're sneezing. Trust me. No, the article about the library. They banned Catcher in the Rye. Oh, there's three old ladies who work in a one-room library. This is censorship. Catcher in the Rye is one of the greatest books of our time. I'm not going to go through this with you again. Now, I'm telling you, retract the article. I'm sorry, but it stays. We stand by our story. Okay, give me King Cole. I don't care where he is or what he's doing. Get him on the phone. <gasps> Sheriff Cody, your usual today? No. Today I'll have something different. A big glass of raw broccoli juice. Just run it through the blender. You got it. Excuse me. No smoking here. So sue me. I'm not going to sue you. Then shut up or get lost. But I will put you in jail. You're the lady from the truck. Can I sit down? Can I smoke? I dreamt you. Uh-huh. No, very straight. No distortion here. You were walking on the sun. Flames and hydrogen were exploding all around you. But you were not consumed. Then when? 
I saw you in your pickup truck, and boom, you're here. I rate that an eight. It's good, but no phone number. N no, I'm not doing the singles bar thing. My name's Cody Jeremiah Jefferson. I'm the sheriff. What's your name, friend? I'm afraid to tell you. You might start levitating. Star. Star? Your name is Star? Hold on to the table. There are definitely unseen hands at work here. You can feel it? Unseen hands. Let's see what else needs doing today. Oh, my goodness. Them light bulbs are going to need some dusting, and that's for true. Now, girl, girl, you're going to have to do a little bit better than this. Oh, I'm a busy man today. Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder and all that kind of mess. Of course I came. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's so good to see you. Oh, but ain't you a saint. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm doing right well. You remember what tomorrow is. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I, well, of course I know. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I was going to have a little bit of trouble, but I, I'm okay. I'm fine. get you through this. For me. You? Yep. Mm. Nice and tender. Shot Bambi. Boom. Oh. Right between the eyes. You don't hunt? Defenseless animals? Put it on the table. I hunt, smoke, eat junk food, listen to Andrew Dice Clay, believe in nuclear power, and voted for Ronald Reagan. Still want to take me to bed? Nobody told me how difficult this was going to be. I feel like Howard Hughes trying to get the spruce goose off the ground. Who wrote this? I did. You, you wrote this? You... Hey, hey, hey. If you have a problem, talk to me. Problem? You're printing lies about me. You smear my name all over town in your little paper. You insult my integrity. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Give us a second. He's lying. You're absolutely sure. Why do you think he got so upset? I hit a nerve. I busted him. If he thought he had a libel suit, you think he'd warn us? No. His company dumped all their garbage in the ocean. Yeah, but he says they didn't. They did. What if we're wrong? We're dead, but we're not wrong. His whole construction company dumped tons of waste in the bay. Trust me. Mr. Alegria, we stand by our story. And we're going to run a second installment in tomorrow's edition. You don't know what you're getting into. Oye, me, te la estás pasando. I'm crazy 
fool. I, I, I don't know. I, I thought I could, I could push it all out of the way somehow. My old friend. No, I, I can't. I can't. I cannot talk about it out loud. My friend, you need to say it out loud. For you. What is it, Gumbo? You know, I, I always told you how I, it used to be I worked in the circus. I was a clown, j just like Hot Top here. And, uh, my, my wife, no, I can't, can't do it. No, no, you can't cancel this ad. I don't care if everyone on this island is too sick to go to the movies, you still have to advertise. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll give you twice the space and a review. How do I know it'll be a good review? I'll write it. No, no, absolutely not. I can't promise it'll be a good review. I have ethics. I can't promise. I... Hello? Hello? Unbelievable. <laughs> so, Seamus, how's it going, man? Well, to tell you the truth, I've had better days. Look, boy, if you need to go home and get some rest, close the paper and go. I myself will tell King Cole you tried this day and make it work, all right? Look, this paper has been in business for 45 years without missing an issue. If it goes down, we go down with it. That's all there is to it. <coughs> all right, man. So what you need me to do to help you? Well, to start, you could wake up peppy. <coughs> So now what does he need? Do you know how to work a calculator? dressed up. Am I early? Actually, you're a little late, cowboy. What? You want me to put on a pretty party dress you could spend all night trying to take it off me? Why don't we skip that part? Flowers. Roses. They're organic. Mm. You never ate a rose? Uh, no. <laughs> I've eaten lots of things. See? That's just the first thing you're going to learn tonight. Uh, you know, I believe we knew each other before. Now we're going to know each other. Now. I'm a triple Leo. The lion is my spirit animal. Uh, what's your sign? Couldn't tell you. You don't know your sign? I'm gonna have to do your chart. Why don't you just do me? Okay. I've had it. My temperature is 103 degrees. All right, that's it. You're going home. It's not the end of the world if we miss one edition. Fig, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. You might want to try tea with lemon. That usually helps. But I appreciate everything you've done. Meteor. Boss. 
It's me, Seamus. News hound. Oh, Osgood's not here. He's out with the flu. How's the conference going? Did you meet Ted Turner? Yeah, a lot of people are out sick, but boss, listen. I got everything under control. We got today's edition just about finished, and it'll be out on the streets tomorrow, right on time, right on schedule. Trust me. Yeah, I know you don't trust anybody. Yeah, I know what you think about people who trust people, but bo bo boss, listen to me. You got no choice. You're a thousand miles away, and we got a deadline here. Her name was Cece. And she was just a tiny little bitty thing, not even five feet tall. She was my wife. We, we fall in love when we was just kids, really. About 16, I guess. And we run away twice. Once to get married and, and once to join the circus. Cece was a clown? Yeah. Yeah, Cece. Cece was the best clown there ever was. Cece could grab your funny bone and shake it like a doll. That's the truth. My Cece got to carrying on and people turned blue in the face. She would make you laugh so hard that you couldn't breathe. And I mean doubled up, cramping, holding on to your sides, begging for mercy. But Cece didn't know nothing about mercy, did she? No, she would just shoot into overdrive and, and, and pretty soon they had to bring out them, them stretches and haul people out of there. Yeah, my, my Cece was a clown. And that's the way she went. Sent a ring. During the middle of our act. Her little bit heart just gave out. And she died. Lying in my arms. With a grease paint on, though. That was ten years ago. Tonight, at 8 o'clock. I can't for the life of me figure it out why it's getting my goat this way. I got through the first year. I got through five years. But this 10 year, we'll be here, all of us. All? What do you mean all? Well, I put out the call. They're coming from all over the country. You don't. Have some tea. Get the thalamus working. Get that crap away from me. Shut off the light. Uh, that's sunlight. Turn it off! It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Fine, great, great. Go to work. Go, uh, go shoot some dope dealers. It's my day off. You have beautiful, untamed energy. Shut up! You're very primal. But we found that out last night. I don't remember. I appreciate you all coming down here. As you know, the regular delivery guys are all out with the flu. And we gotta get these babies out tonight. When do we get paid? You get paid after you deliver the papers. When do we get the papers? Get the papers at 8 o'clock tonight. Do you uh, take out withholding taxes? Of course. This is a corporation. Pay us under the table. No! Pay us up front. Listen, wise guy, I pay you one dime up front. You won't be sober enough to see your feet. Now, you want the job? Be here at 8 o'clock tonight. 
Thank you, Peppy. Please. Come in. This way. This way. This way. This way, man. Not around here. Come up there. You are crazy, boy. You know that. Giorgio, I gotta get these flats rolling. Seamus, you can't do this alone, man. You're running yourself ragged. You have not slept in two days. As soon as I get this paper out, I will sleep. I promise. Now leave me alone. The boy gonna kill himself, yeah? I've met some people who've lived hundreds of lifetimes. Very old souls. You're a very young soul. Wild and beautiful. Like a young tornado. Powerful, raw energy. Someday, in a future life, you will be a very great and wise consciousness. Listen to me. You may be one of the great lovers of the Western world. I'll give you that. And if broccoli juice and yoga can turn all men into the bunk bunny you are, I will start paying for group fares to India myself. But just... Knock it off with the gooey stuff, okay? Why, are you afraid of affection? Change the subject. Why? Have you always been like Look, this? I don't do backstories. No monologues about my past. No touching insights into what makes me tick, okay? Okay. okay. Well then, where do you live? Out of my truck. How long are you in town? I leave tomorrow. And why are you here? Are you done? You want me to take an ink blot test or uh, go to the police station and look up my record? I did. You're clean. Okay, Oscar's editorial's got me here. Somewhere, where did she put it? You're going to be a good newspaperman. Yeah, if Cole doesn't fire me the minute he gets back. Fire you? You took on the mayor. You got a scoop on Alegria. I personally saw how you handled that. You trusted your reporter, and you stood by your story. Tough call. Tough call. You got guts, and you got heart. King Cole ain't gonna fire you. You are a newspaperman. Thank you. All right, Peppy. Yeah. I'll have this done in a couple hours, then we'll be ready to roll. Let's roll. My father and my grandfather and my great-grandfather were all peace officers. My mother, on the other hand, she was very free of spirit. The first hippie. How did she hook up with the sheriff, Daddy? Uh, she was nude sunbathing on the beach. He arrested her, made her bail, and that night they were married. <laughs> father, he taught me discipline and respect, and my mother, she taught me tolerance and forgiveness. I see those. My dad, though, he, uh, he started drinking when I was in high school. And I knew that I couldn't handle my tension like that. I had to handle it from within, on my own. So I went and lived in a Buddhist monastery for two years. Then I joined the police academy I became a peace officer. So that's the recipe for this strange brew, you. Yeah. Star, I think I'm falling in love with you. Big kitty. Listen to me. If I could do that trick, I would do it with you. If I could dance. I would dance with you, I surely would, but uh, my life is, uh, it's like a, a high wire act without a net. I work alone.
you feel. So where you want to be buried? You know, we have some nice cemeteries down here at the end of the world. Of course, now you could be buried out to sea. That'd be nice. Let the fishes feed on you instead of the worms. Either way, I figure you'd be dead by Tuesday. Look, Jojo. Yeah, man. I'm almost done. <laughs> no, man. You are done. Let's pack it in. Let's pack it in. Come on. Come on. shaking. You just try and hang in there till next Wednesday. Okay, baby. I won't forget. So, anyway, here's the scoop. All the hospitals are filled up to Miami, so that leaves Seamus to my very capable hands. And these aren't capable hands, I'm telling you that right now. I have it on the authority of six senators, two kings, and one president. President? Which one go? Never you mind. I gotta get back to the newspaper office. No, baby. You say that one more time and I'm gonna break your kneecaps. You gotta rest. Cole's depending on me. The newspaper's almost ready. Sweetheart, you're really hot. Now, you're gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna give you a little alcohol rub. My mama used to give these to me when I was a baby and it cooled me right off. Oh. I'm gonna say, mm. cooling men off in bed is not exactly one of my areas of expertise. Although, there seem to be some similarities. Hmm. I gotta get back to the office. Cole trusted me. You just lie back and let Savannah take care of you. Everything's gonna be all right. I... I feel wonderful. You're too hot. We gotta cool you off, baby. Seamus. Mercy, mercy! Look who's here! Oh, oh, it's Todd Bennett and Flat Top too. Just be traveling in this war paint. They sleep in it. I don't doubt it. <laughs> T. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years and that boy ain't quit yet. <laughs> gotta get up. I gotta go. Where are you going? Why don't you come with me and see? Star, and this thing that's happened, it's meant to be. Nothing is meant to be. There is no such thing as 
an aura, there's no vibrations, no astral projection, no out-of-body experiences, no soul travel. It's crap. It's unreal. It's not unreal. It's only unknown. What are you doing here? I come here to get this paper out. You gonna help me or what? Damn right! Let's go on. Let's go. You gotta come back. You're way out there, baby. You gotta make yourself come back. It's flying. It's flying. Paper. Baby, there's nothing out there. The newspaper's flying. Baby, you don't know what you're talking about. Making deliveries. Listen to, to me, Seamus. Hold on. All the people. Are Hold on tight, baby. You squeeze my hand. You squeeze my hand, baby. Stay with Savannah. Don't go. Seamus. Okay, baby, that's enough. I gotta get you inside. Come on. I'm gonna go back inside now. Come on, baby. All right, people, come on, this is important, yeah? We gotta get these papers out. You're doing a wonderful job, and that Irish kid has a lot of good friends. And I'm going for a drink. <laughs> we get one for me, man. All right, come on, people, this is important, right? I can't tell y'all how happy it made me that all my old friends came to be with me tonight for this tribute to my... to our CC. Star. Oh, my star bright to come back to her old pal Gumbo. Oh, sweetie. Wait, y'all remember Star Bright? Best lion tamer ever cracker with. Mama and daughter team, too. How your mama is? She's good. Oh, that's good. I always like her. Oh, sweet. Oh, my star was just 16 years old when she first climbed in that cage with them big cats. And she cracked that whip and them lions sink down like little pussycats. <laughs> my star have that power in her. The lion understands. Lion take one look at her and know. He can feel it. Supernatural. Oh, sweet. Thank you for coming. Mm. Time to start. It's been ten long years since I've seen all this. Oh, my goodness, look. Look. It, it, it's Cece's wig. Oh, do you remember this ratty old thing? The only one she would wear. How many times I wished I could get her to change it, but it was a good luck piece. Oh, and a little nose, too. A great big old shoes. Yeah.
my little Cece. I can't hardly believe it's been ten years since I, I held her in my arms, touched her pretty face. You know, I, I never have told anybody this before. But I never really have felt like she was really gone. I can feel her. I, I, I know, I, I can't see her or nothing, but I can feel her. I wake up in the morning sometimes, look at the sunrise, and I swear, I see CC shining. I think I understand. But looking, looking at all these old friendly faces that carry you in their hearts too, make me understand that it's wrong of me to keep you locked up in my heart. I got to live for me and share the memory of you and you can live forever. tuned for seeing this getting closer to Kelly and closer to the truth about his father. Is Jack McKay only after his son's money? Find out on an all-new 90210. Then, Heather Locklear has come to Melrose Place, and tomorrow, she and Billy are celebrating with a bottle of champagne. But instead of drinking it, they're going to get a little wet and a little wild. On an all-new Melrose Place, tomorrow on Fox.